So, yeah, or Ambush Viper for a more recent example. Although yeah. you love Codals. I love Codals. It's your favorite card in Magic, huh? Hell yeah. You should tell them about your Codal collection. I've got a massive Codal collection. you got a massive Codal, do you? Yeah, just for you, Nick. Just for you. Uh, how many, how many, you have like a playmat and like... Yeah, how- I've got a playmat by the artist. I've got a folder full of codals. I've got them signed by like fucking everyone. How and many, it's how just m- bread and butter. <laughs> how many codals do you have with dicks drawn on them? Probably, I don't know, how long have we known each other? <laughs> <laughs> you and I, you know the funny thing, what I find so funny is when people ask where you and I met... Um, I always, I always have to say on workstation, on Magic Workstation of all fucking places. Right. Because most people on Workstation are fucking terrible, and like, <laughs> we're like doing videos and brewing now, and all, and I don't, I honestly don't even think I've ever really like met that many people on Workstation that I even like went to the trouble of Skyping, you know? Yeah. You know, I almost like, defriended you when your mic wasn't I know, working. I, know. <laughs> I almost blocked you and defriended you because I was like, "Oh, fuck this Australian guy! I can't understand a damn word that he says because his accent sucks and his mic sucks." <laughs> yeah, it was like before I had a microphone and a headset, it was like impossible to communicate. I just couldn't really hear you. It was awful. Yeah. Um. But, but luckily, I spent the cash, and now we can talk. I know. <laughs> I know, I can keep you as a friend now. I'm such a shallow friend. Like, if, if, we, if we don't... keep me as a friend. <laughs> the potential magic tester for life. Oh, fuck it, I can't hear <laughs> yeah, I just I can't hear what he's saying, so fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going to give him a chance. Um, but so, yeah, so things with Converted Mana Cost 0 through 3 are... And, like, going back to the Centaur Healer. Centaur Healer is not really a card that wins you the game, but it puts... You will hit them with a centaur healer, but most of the time you're using it as something just to get in the way of aggro and gain you three life. Right. And the the problem with centaur, I, I almost wish this did not have the three in it, because there's a lot of things with converted mana cost three that are decent stepping stones, like detention sphere, centaur healer, um, even like ramping with uh, chromatic, or not chromatic, chroma- yeah, chromatic lantern. Um, yeah. But the zero, the zero, one, and two drops, there's none. Yeah. Like there's far seek. There's kind of Augur Bolas if you're playing the right deck. Right, there's there's a couple shitty mana ramp dudes. Pilgrim's good. Arbor Elf is really problematic right now. You I don't, don't think Arbor Elf's even playable. You can't be running a high number of forests right now. It's the same problem as Augur Bolas. <laughs> just for lands? Yeah, just restricts the mana base, which is something you do not want to restrict in this format. Unless you're it playing the... As as possible. Unless you're playing the five green Thrag Test deck with Predator Ooze. Super playable. <clears throat> totally playable. Um, but yeah, converted mana cost zero, one, and two. Like, if there is a cantrip, like a card that comes in, even if it's like Elvish Visionary, like just jellyfish. like jellyfish. God, I can't wait for the jellyfish. The jellyfish yeah. gets printed. That'd be sweet. And then if you could anthem I'll be it, so happy. and then if you could anthem it, you could even keep it in play, and then you could like attach a pike to it and just kill them with the jellyfish. The jellyfish has to have flying, right? I don't know. I don't know what Nock Amoeba has flying. No, maybe you could just give it all of like the shittiest um, abilities that cards have gotten <laughs> in the past. Because it's gonna die anyway. Like Rampage four and stuff like that. <laughs> right, yeah. Or like um Banding. Uh, no, Banding was awesome. Banding yeah, would actually be really good. You don't want to band with a jellyfish, man. Um what are what are some of the other bad ones? I don't know. Like Bloodthirst. <laughs> Bloodthirst is actually pretty good, because it would, like, if you played Augur Bolas, which you couldn't, because then you're playing a jellyfish, which is not an instant or sorcery. It should be a creature instant sorcery, <laughs> just a dude all the time. No, I just wish it were just creature. Yeah. Like, I think creature instant and sorcery would be too good, because then you really could just shove it in any deck. Yeah. Because you'd have, I think like, Augur Bolas just needs to be better. Because you'd have, like... Just blue, blue, one, three, and just give you a card. I'd like it more. Because I'd, at least I would know that I need to be playing that in a heavy blue deck right away, as opposed to needing to blank with an auger 600 million times to know that I don't like it enough, because it's not consistent. Like, yeah, you could be playing this card in a heavy blue deck anyway, like, seriously. Like, the, the colors that play Instance and Sorceries is blue, so... True, but I wonder if, um, I wonder if Wizards knew that, or if they just, like, were like, oops? I don't know, they do a lot of oops things. Yeah. Like, maybe they meant for it to be really good, and, like, one of the cards that... 
Yeah, because the other thing is, like, Simic is coming out, and it's supposed to be, like, merfolk-oriented, right? No, no, it's not merfolk-oriented at I all. Thought the, I thought the blue-green the blue -green thing was merfolky. No, no, like, the whole point of Simic in this new set is, like, underneath Ravnikar was, like, an ocean, right? And, like, there are all these new creatures that Ravnica's never seen before. Merfolk's yeah. one of them. A but it's not ocean. supposed to be tribal at all. Yeah, but it's an ocean. Yeah, it's an ocean. Like, God knows, you could get the jellyfish. I would bet you, like... $20, or the two tickets that I still owe you from that bet that I lost about Sphinx's revelation, <laughs> I would bet you, I would go double or nothing, that we'll see at least four merfolk in Gate Crash. No, I can definitely expect four merfolk, but I don't think it's going to be tribal synergies. No, I don't think they're going to print merfolk lords. No, definitely not. But Simic is, like there are going to be like Simic things. cards that are merfolk related. Yeah, definitely they'll be merfolk related. The guild leader's merfolk, so at least has to be, like, three others. Right. My point is, is I'm not saying you're gonna have, like, tribes that are merfolk related, but you can certainly cavern naming merfolk. Oh, definitely, yeah. But they're more likely going to be wizards or engineers or something stupid like that. Even if that zero zero that we were talking about for for one were a merfolk, that would be way better. Like, being oh, yeah. able to cavern naming merfolk in a merfolky deck would be sweet. Yeah. And having a one drop that dies, but... You could use it later somehow. It's just a spell. Yeah, dude, you could Angel of Serenity it. It's a creature. Hell yeah. <laughs> be sweet. Because you need more value of your Angel of Serenity. <laughs> right, exactly. I love Angel of Serenity. But a, a dude that went to the graveyard and cycled another thing to your hand, like, that's that's why we play Mulch and Grizzly Salvage in our Junk Angel deck, is because it doesn't matter what goes to the graveyard, because we're going to Serenity it later. Mm. Yeah, that's and why... It depends I... on what the mechanic is as well. Yeah, I, I mean, we, we can't really predict what's going to be in Gate Crash because that's just crazy. Like, there's no there's no way we would be able to make, like... I don't know, I think we can start a project and we can guess a fair amount of the cards. You think so? Yeah, because, look, it follows Return to Ravnica build style, like, with the color breakdown and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure we can guess a fair amount of the cards, even I, the mechanics. I think we're going to get something along the lines of Coiling Oracle, but... I think it'll be a Merfolk. Right, me too. Was yeah. Coiling Oracle a merfolk? What was he? That was a snake elf druid. Snake elf druid. Even better. Yeah, and then you could cavern naming elf, and so you could go turn one, um... Snake. Snake. No, death right shaman. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways, the, the last thing uh, is uh, instant speed. Actually, this is kind of talking about what else is good and um, good and standard right now. Uh... There's not a lot of instant speed removal. You have, like, Restoration, Angel, Cyclonic Rift, and Ultimate Price, and... Can you name anything else? No. And two of those cards aren't even really seeing play. Yeah. Um, so the instant speed removal kind of sucks right now. I'm I'm not a big fan of... Well, I, I like Cyclonic Rift and ult, uh, Ultimate Price, but, um, like, there's just... It's there's the reason Aquas Refuge is even seeing play just because there's no instant speed stuff. Yeah. It's also one of the reasons that uh, Sphinx's Revelation is so good, because do you seriously think that Sphinx's Revelation would be as good as everyone had stuff to do at instant speed so they could viably hold open counterspell mana and still do things end of turn? Yeah, definitely not. That's why people are, like jamming sideboards full of dispels. Yeah, like, like Sphinx's Revelation like against Delver would be fucking terrible. Yeah. <laughs> it would never resolve. No, it would never <laughs> resolve. <laughs> Um, but yeah, things with Flash and Haste are really good. I mean, Flash just because going along the instant speed thing, um, and then Haste is very good just because there is no instant speed removal, so if it has Haste, you know it's getting in there. Yeah. So, those are things that we're going to be looking for in Gate Crash. Uh, 